Hey guys, hello and welcome to the Divi Protect overview video. My name is Roby and I'm going to be walking you through a high level overview of Divi Protect and all of its features. Now, since we won't be getting into the nitty gritty of things, please check out the documentation site at help.diviengine.com. It's also shown on the screen right now for specific details and additional videos to help get you going. But if you do get stuck, please contact our amazing support team for more complex issues. So without wasting any more time, why don't we just jump right into it? Now downloading and installing our plugin is super easy. All we have to do is go to DiviEngine.com and log into our account. Once logged in, you'll head over to the My Downloads section on the left hand side. And once there, you'll see a list of all the plugins you've purchased from Divi Engine. Just scroll down to Divi Protect and click on the green button on the right hand side. Now be sure to save this at a place you can find it very easily because in the next step, we'll be installing the plugin. Now with our plugin downloaded, we head to the back end of our Divi site. We're going to go over to the plugins area and then select Add New. On this Add New Plugin section, we're going to select Upload Plugin at the top, and then we'll choose the file from that convenient location where we downloaded the plugin earlier. Just select the file, click Open, and then Install. Now once the plugin is installed, make sure to activate it, and then the next step, we'll be adding the license. Okay, so now adding your license key is just as easy as finding your download. All you do is make sure that you're logged in to the back end of your Divi Engine account and head over to My Orders. Now once there, you'll see all of your recent orders and then the Manage License button. Click on the Manage License button for me. Now this takes you to your license key page. You might see a lot of licenses for your Divi Engine products that you've generated in the past but the best way to go about this is to scroll to the bottom of the page and you'll see our key generator. You just click that drop down and select Divi Protect from the list and hit Generate License. Once that license is generated, make sure to copy it and then we'll head back to the back end of our Divi site. Now back in the back end of our Divi site, we'll see the Divi Engine link in the left hand column. Now hover over that and click on Protect License at the bottom. Now all you need to do is paste your license into the box and hit that save button. What's great about this, this enables the automatic updates for the plugin to keep you secure and update it with the latest features. Now let's take a quick look at the plugin. After logging into the WP Admin dashboard of your Divi website, you'll see a small Divi Engine menu on the left hand side of your screen. From there you can navigate your way throughout Divi Protect. Divi Protect has three main pages. Now firstly, there's a page containing an introductory video from our founder Peter and some other links that link you to feedback, support and various pages that will help you get the most out of Divi Protect. Secondly, there's a license page that we've already visited to enter our license key. And then lastly, there's a Protect Sections page. This is the heart of Divi Protect. In this section, you'll be able to build your protected sections containing the content you want to hide behind the Divi Protect password form. I have created a test section to show you exactly what that looks like. Now as you can see, everything is here from the Divi Builder that you can use to create your content through the settings that allow you to customize the password protected form. For styling options, we have given you two choices. The first is to style using the Protect module. The second is to use the style settings right on this page. The choice is yours, your imagination is the limit. Now just another important thing to note here is that we have to disable all the caching plugins or options that we have on our Divi site. Caching is a powerful way of speeding up the internet. But however, while editing a Divi site, caching software can delay changes that happen on your pages. So we need to go ahead and disable any caching plugins but just by going to the plugin section and deactivating them. And we need to disable the static Divi CSS file generation. And for that you go to Divi, Theme Options, Boulder, Advanced, and then disable that static CSS file generation on the page. The other thing we need to remember to do is disable the caching for our browser. Now I'm using Chrome, so I just go to the right here and hit the three dots, scroll down to More Tools, and then click on Clear Browsing Data. That will clear out my cache, and now we're ready to start working with Divi Protect. 
Now, I hope this overview was very helpful to you. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and please get in touch if you have any additional questions and definitely check out our support page at help.divyengine.com for more videos and texts that will help you utilize the best out of Divi Protect. Bye for now and I'll catch you in the next video.